the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome this morning as we continue our celebration during the Christmas season. And we take a moment, and for any of you who might who are joining at home, if you would like to type in any prayer intentions or things you'd like us to pray for today, we can do that. So we take a moment as we begin to ask God's forgiveness for our failings, for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, or sorry, a reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him, and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit whom he gave us. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can know the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God, and every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus does not belong to God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, who, as you heard, is to come, but in fact already is in the world. You belong to God, children, and you have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They belong to the world. Accordingly, their teachings belong to the world, and the world listens to them. We belong to God, and anyone who knows God listens to us while anyone who does not belong to God refuses to hear us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deceit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. I will, I will give, give you all, all the nations for an inheritance. inheritance. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice before him. With trembling rejoice. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through, through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases and racked with pain, those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In every generation, there are people who sit in darkness, who dwell in lands that are overshadowed by death, and they need to look to the light, the light of, of Christ. And so just as it was in the gospel for us, when those times in our lives feel, as certainly can be the case currently, that we are in darkness and overshadowed by so much death, particularly from the pandemic, but even in normal times, depending on our families and our context and situation, to experience the, the death of loved ones or violent acts, shooting at the mall just in our neighborhood, and it can seem as if the darkness is, is overcoming, overcoming our hearts and our communities. And it is then that we, that we look to the light, that the light of Christ comes to us with the same message today as in the gospel, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, the, the kingdom has begun to enter into it as citizens of that kingdom to live according to the values of that kingdom then brings people to Christ and to salvation. And so not only are great crowds from Galilee and the Decapolis, Jerusalem and Judea and the Jordan following Jesus, but again, not to, not to make it sound silly, but people from Fresno, Clovis, and Reedley and Tulare and Bakersfield to this day, there are people in all of these communities who have found in Christ their light and are continuing to follow them because it is in Christ then that that seeming victory of darkness and the feeling of being overshadowed by death is then dispelled by that light so we can see the truth of who we are, of the values we live by, and most importantly, who Christ is, who is the source of our life. before God, trusting that he, he hears us and responds to us in need as we offer our prayers and petitions. For leaders in the church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the light of Christ illumine their decisions and lead them to protect those who are most in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering, may Christ's healing presence bring them relief and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those gathered uh, watching us on our live stream, may we all be comforted in our worries by the abiding peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for those who have died, may they rest in the eternal light of God's love. For the uh, 
repose in memory of Father Sergio Negro, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Were there any special petitions from anyone at home that we wanted to express? Um, not written up, but we thank you all for joining us, and we're praying for you as we gather. Loving God, we ask you to hear the prayers we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Are you, Lord, God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church Lord we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of Saint Elizabeth and Seton and grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We pray God's peace for each of you who are watching. We can read the names, and as each name is read, we offer our peace to one another. Yeah, so we're grateful to be joined by all of you, especially those of you whose names I can read right now. So the Abenojas, Kathleen Riley, Tony Van Ann, Joan Lum, Lita Pasqua, Mary Lou Abenoja, um, Efren Lagan, Sofia uh, Ebeseme Ebenezer, Lisa Martinez, Brandy Ramirez, Gloria Silva, uh, Deacon Bill Lucido, Marianne Sullivan Latimer, Paula Carvalho, Stephanie Friedrich, Jenny Ullman, and Bettina Charis Ramirez. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. 
Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The bread I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. And we'll pray this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.